EQ. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Oh! Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well... You can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope, that was worse. 
Oh, and I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to... Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. <laughs> 